One year on, the search for missing children continues in the city of Ishinomaki in northern Japan. Local police officers were out scouring the coastline again in the rain this week, looking for traces of four who were never found after Japan's massive tsunami swallowed a local elementary school and 74 of its pupils last March. They used sticks to move branches and poke at debris. Most of the bodies surfaced in the weeks after the disaster, but the search team leader vows the hunt will keep going to locate the rest. The purpose of our search, families that have lost someone, they want a part of the lost one to come back to them, even if it's a limb. After the massive quake rocked the area, the teachers had apparently debated what to do before trying to head to a nearby river bridge. But the road flooded just an hour after the quake struck. Why they didn't decide to climb a hill nearby was the big question many had, as the story of the Okawa Elementary School hit the headlines in the weeks after the tragedy. Kazutaka Sato lost his son Yuki. Why did 74 children have to die, along with their hopes and dreams? How could the school have imagined that the tsunami wouldn't have come that far? City officials and school staff have held three information sessions for parents. Documents from the meetings blame the school's lack of specific instructions on where to go. The headmaster said only measures are being taken to prevent anything similar from happening again. Authorities maintain there will be more talks with parents. Sato said what he wants is a heartfelt apology. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.